he doll make out of velvet, uh, will make out of potentially jeans on the wall or something very stiff. Um, but yeah, it was kind of fun. Hi everyone and welcome back to Sewing Adventures, a channel all about sewing. So this video is different, I created a fan bucket hat, definitely doll make out of velvet, uh, will make out of potentially jeans on the wall or something very stiff. Um, but yeah, it was kind of fun, it was something different and I will encourage you to do it if you want to see how I did it or if you want to stick around, make sure you stay, if you like the video, thumbs up subscribe and yeah let's see what this goes <laughs> a pdf for the bucket hat for free online i'm using some velvet as my fabric of choice i do not recommend to use this kind of fabric because it's very thin i will go more for a wool or even jeans perhaps something really thick something that is going to give you weight and shape to your bucket hat I'm going to continue cutting all my different patterns making sure they are nice and neat make sure you've um, cut on a fold if the pattern says so as you can see I'm currently having four for those I'm currently having four for those and I'm going to be using some some interfacing it's not it's the medium weight you can always use a heavier interface i'm going to be cutting my patterns which i would then be ironing it to the fabric again i will use a heavier fabric not um, velvet i will give it a good steam make sure that is um, properly um, spaced and it's um, attached to the fabric very well this may take practice you might have to take your time and make sure you pass the iron a couple of times to make sure that it's secured and you will see how it gives you that weight extra weight um, to your fabric and that's what helps you um, have a shape um, to your bucket hat. Now that all my pieces have interfacing and you can see how uh, stiff they are already, it's time to use a serger. Um, you can use a sewing machine and here I'm just testing the right settings for this kind of fabric. I'm going to be sewing the ends of this piece of pattern I'm going to be doing the same just the end and as you can see I did the ends I'm going to do it in this order but what I'm currently going to do is I'm going to use um, I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to find my points so then when I attach it to the other piece because it's a circle I know my points of reference and I can easily match them together Here I'm just um, surging all the pieces together and then I'm going to repeat the same for the inside without using an interface and then I will put it together and that is it. You have a DIY pocket hat 
and I would totally recommend it. This is more of an independent. So, for example, if you are looking just to try it out, try a pattern, I would 100% um, recommend you to use a bucket hat pattern, and there are plenty online.